You want to change the world, son. So do I. Although the flood only lasted 40 days, Noah and his family spent an entire year in the ark. One commentator wonders why was that necessary? God could have had the waters subside in less time. And he answers, because Noah and his family were going to rebuild the world. And so God wanted them to spend an entire year working on themselves with respect to one specific character trait, kindness. Take care of those animals in that mobile zoo for a year. In fact, Noah, towards the very end of his life, had a visitor, one of his descendants, a young man named Avraham, Abraham, who came to spend some time with Noah and his family. And Avraham once asked Noah's son, Shame, what did you do on the ark? And Shame said, let me tell you what we didn't do. We didn't sleep. We took care of those animals 24-7. It's not a coincidence that Avraham went on to become the first Jew. Because the Jewish people had to be built, just like humanity when it restarted, the Jewish people at the outset, we had to be built on the strongest possible foundation of kindness. Look up kindness in the dictionary, you'll see a picture of Avraham's smiling face. And this wasn't a case of chicken and the egg which came first. Avraham certainly didn't become the first Jew and then say, you know, I'm the first Jew, I really ought to be a nicer guy now. Better start working on kindness. No, that's why he was chosen because of the trait of kindness that he had shown previously. We know who he is. He's the guy that went to bat for the wicked people of Sodom when they were condemned to death, arguing with God himself, saying, God, how can you do this? And like in every week's Torah portion, what a great lesson for us right now as we leave our own arcs and head out to what will hopefully soon be a fully post-pandemic world. What better way to rebuild that world and rebuild ourselves than by engaging in acts of kindness towards each other. There was a famous rabbi who taught in a yeshiva in Israel many years ago, and he would tell his students, I don't want you to go to sleep at night unless you had previously performed that day or evening three acts of kindness for someone else, a fellow student, the staff, a rabbi, somebody out on the street, teaching them the importance of kindness not just as an addition, a cute little adjunct to what they were studying, but as the foundation itself for their study. Not a bad idea for us to take on three acts of kindness every day. How do we change the world? One act of random kindness at a time. One act of random kindness.